Welcome back inside the Andromedome for the second event in the Marble League 2020, sponsored by Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. Ladies hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. On the docket Welcome today, to the Half Pipe. So you see a brief example of what this will look like. Drop on in, stay tubular, and see if you can hold on as long as possible by slaloming back and forth. The goal is not to get to the bottom quickly, but rather to stay in the half pipe as long as you possibly can. Two rounds today added together to get our winner. As the wave moves through the stadium, what will the wave look like when they drop on in? Minty Maniacs won the first event, and we're ready for the second a week later. There's been a lot of preparation and strategy for this event. Oh, and a hard hit there. Completely throws the field wide in both directions. Two finishers apiece so far. Three were tied. It'll come down to the fourth ones. And I believe that Mellow Yellow will get the higher total, even though one of those marbles went all the way to the top. And yes, they will. 27.98 get the win. So you can see that initial drop-in point has so much emphasis. Raspberry Racers and the Minty Maniacs, are they gonna prove that as well? Yes, they will. Maybe not to the same degree, but Minty Maniacs have two clear up at the top there. Look at that, almost completely stopped. They can take their time. They don't really have a slalom going back and forth, but look at the clock continuing to run. This should be an easy victory for the Minty Maniacs. In fact, it's a new Marble League record, 33.75. That is a huge gap to the Raspberry Racers. Minty Maniacs on form to start the Marble League. Will we see that record fall? Is anybody gonna come close? Balls of Chaos and Green Ducks will be the next ones to try. They come down and a heart smack into the wall and each other sends two of the Green Ducks higher up, but look at that little impact there. That keeps one of the Balls of Chaos just meandering down the course with the clock running. Well, it's all going to come down to the math here. It looked like look this Green Ducks have three up top compared to just one for the Balls of Chaos. Oh, but it wasn't enough. The Green Ducks get the win, even with that trailing marble. Midnight Wisps and the Hazers, quarter of the way through these runs. Down they come, and pretty back and forth. It seems to alternate as they come down the course. These higher up ones could make all the difference. Three for the Wisps have already finished. That's a really tough one to tell. The Wisps battling all the way off to the left there, but the Hazers were able to get it done. 31-35. So they've broken that 30 mark, only the second team to do so behind the Marble League record from the Minty Maniacs. Oh, Rangers and the Savage Speeders bunched up together. You wonder what it's like in that starting gate. Down they come. Immediately, the speeders shoot two off to the bottom. That is not gonna work out very well for them. Look at the O-Rangers, three up top, slaloming in tandem, back and forth they come. And I would have to think that should be an easy victory for the O-Rangers. Oh my gosh, so good that it's actually another new Marble League record. Look at that, almost all of the Savage Speeders already vacated off to the right. First marble finishing in under four seconds for the O'Rangers, that was seven. That made a huge difference in the O'Rangers. Vault over the Minty Maniacs to take the lead. Crazy Cat's Eyes and the Hornets chasing what is now a 34-4-9 record. They drop on through. Three of the Crazy Cat's Eyes well up to the top of the half pipe. As they come down here, this is gonna be fairly close. Really tough to tell what the numbers might be. There you see, already dropping two off to the bottom off screen. How close was it? Well, not that close. A little over three, almost three and a half second victory there. Momo and the Oceanics next. Down they come and Momo, they've got two headed off to the bottom of the half pipe already. Two finishers, but they've got two all the way up to the top. They bump into each other. One of them's gonna take their time getting down there. 
but what's it going to work out to time-wise? Kind of interesting, they've sandwiched them. Two to the top, two to the bottom. And consistency was key. The Oceanics just barely by half a second get the win. Bumblebees and the Thunderbolts up next. They collide into each other pretty strongly. Bumblebees already have one finisher. Thunderbolts have two. Two for the Bumblebees still up top behind everybody else. Keep that slalom wide and you're gonna gain more time. That's one way to say it, I guess. You want to keep your slaloming back and forth as wide as possible because that lateral movement means it's not turning into progress down the course. And it worked for the Bumblebees 30.82. Results thus far. Get past 30 and you are gonna be in the top 10 pretty solidly by the end of this, I would have to think. But remember, this is two rounds added together, so we're not done yet. Mellow Yellow and Team Galactic. Ooh, three for Mellow Yellow, already working their way off screen and down toward the finish line. Oh, but one of them has managed to lag behind. That'll make up a little bit of time between the two teams. But those three early finishers will not be good for Mellow Yellow. It was not. Team Galactic gets the win, 31-7-4. It's a big difference from their first round, 25-80. Raspberry Racers and the Minty Maniacs. Hard impact there once again. Already one finisher for the Maniacs. Four still on the board, 3-2 now for each team. And one latecomer for the Raspberry Racers. Had to be of some benefit, but how did they work out? All in the middle, and they used the ricochet to send them up the course and it's a 30.8, and the win for the Raspberry Racers. Four second improvement. Green Ducks and Balls of Chaos. Down they come, Balls of Chaos has one bump all the way against the back wall, but look at there, Green Ducks still have one that's just getting off of that wall. Unfortunately, the finishers down below may nullify some of that progress. How good was that last stand for the Green Ducks? Not good enough. 12-4-8 to an 11-3-1, but everybody else made up for it. Green Ducks, in fact, got worse. The Wisps and the Hazers. Hazers sitting in fourth after round one. Midnight Wisps keep three up top compared to just one for the Hazers. Hazers trying to keep it wide, but that does not let the Wisps get by. So two of the last three will go to the Midnight Wisps, as will the overall win of this run. Current results with Galactic up top, which combined total puts them at about a 57 to the Wisps 59-ish. Savage Speeders and the Rangers. That was a very hard impact that stalled a couple of the marbles out. We've already got one finisher, barely near five seconds in. The Rangers still have two. There will be the last one to finish. So the interesting speeders appropriately had the quickest time in round one. How close was it? Uh, about two seconds difference, and the O-Rangers get the win between them. And if my math is correct, they should be sitting on about a 66 as the number to beat. 14 of 16, Hornets and Crazy Cat's Eye. They all drop in, and Crazy Cat's Eye send one down the course very quickly, but then it's going to be two coming in next for the Hornets. Who will be last? A big gap back for the last crazy cat's eye to cross. Did that help? They're only 16 hundredths down from the Rangers after round one. They're going to need probably 31-7 to beat them here. And they're not going to get it. 30.16. They get the win, but it puts them probably in second place. They could not get over the Rangers. We get down toward the end of this event. Just a few more runs to go. Who will improve and make a difference? Oh, that was a very sharp impact with three headed off to the right already for the Oceanics. That will not bode well as they have a lot of making up to do. Momo, on the other hand, look two up top. Do they both bump off that wall? Yes, they do. And Team Momo gets the win easily. 30.66, nearly an eight second differential. I think also a four second improvement from round one. Thunderbolts and the Bumblebees. Thunderbolts have three down to the bottom, but collisions up top could make a big difference. As a result, nearly come to a stop up there of one of the Thunderbolts. Look at this gap. Time is ticking. And what does it work out to? 
27-9-0 to a 25-2-8. That did make a difference. So you can see Team Galactic does get the win in this round. But remember, it was a two-round event. And as we combine the two runs, it's the O Rangers that get the win. Crazy Cat's Eyes and the Minty Maniacs will round out the podium, and a $5,000 donation will be made in the O Rangers name to Banco de Alimentos de Puerto Rico, courtesy of last week tonight. Minty Maniacs staying on fine form. And well done to the Crazy Cat's Eyes to sneak in there and paw at the silver. Hat tip also to our hosts finishing in fifth, but let the O's reign. Minty Maniacs still hold the overall top spot though, but the O-Rangers jumping up eight for a tie for second place with Crazy Cat's Eyes after two events in the 2020 Marble League sponsored by Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. Join us next time on July 3rd for the Funnel Endurance event. Thanks for watching everybody.